uh, I think it's about controlling the human race, but not about creating a global pandemic. Some people think that they want to, to diminish 50% of the population. I don't believe that. But I think this is show and tell time. I really believe there's a plan to disempower the human race from anything resembling self-help, self-healing. You've got Codex Alimentarius. Uh, this is being put into place now. No more uh, supplements, of natural supplements. GM modified food. It's quite horrific. People need to be informed about that. Codex Alimentarius. Look it up. Protest. And do everything you can not to allow this to happen. We can stop it. And I think the vaccine program and the whole fear of the pandemic, this will pass to as long as you refuse to take the vaccine. And they say that if you do, I mean, come on, global governments saying that, I've seen it in Italy, I've seen it in a lot of countries because I'm following this quite a lot, that forced vaccines are coming or jail. Excuse me? What have you got in this vaccine that is so utterly important that the alternative is jail? Where are these jails? Who's going in these jails? How many people are going to go to jail? Jail. Hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with all those camps. FEMA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and, but I'd like to add that, gee willikers, Batman, when Homeland Security popped up right after the 911 incident, they were already put in place all of the questions about quarantine. That was all part of the Homeland Security. Uh, they could take your house, they could take your kids, they could put you in quarantine, they could comp completely remove you as part of the Homeland Security plan. How very uh, prophetic that they would know that eight years ahead of time. There would be a massive panda, uh, what is it? Pandemic. I was going to say pandemonium, <laughs> which there is all societies crumbling. I think society is, is becoming empowered. But the first thing that has to happen is feng shui, where all of these old structures fall down because we have clung to them as a sense of our persona, as a society. Uh, and it has to go because it doesn't work. So we're watching it crumble. I don't think they're staging it. I think it's out of control. And they're desperate to get the control back. Because when it all goes, aside from the fact that they don't get to play in the Garden of Eden of their wealth any longer, uh, they have an agenda. And the agenda is to bring the planet down to slavery, absolute slavery, so that they can, in their technological advanced concept of galactic ratios, pull Nebiru through this tunnel. Uh, but that is not going to happen. And this crumbling that's happening of structures is empowering the human race. But the process in the meantime is we've got to go through some difficult times to reach that freedom. So they love to bring people into fear about lack and scarcity and suffering because uh, they don't want people to step out of it empowered. They want people to bow down to it. But as we see it happening, people, lots of media of, I lost my house, and thank God I've got a job at McDonald's where I'm making enough to feed my kids. Really? Thank God you've got a job at McDonald's when you used to earn $150,000? What, what is the media saying here? Get used to being in total slavery and be thankful you've got enough income to, to eat potato mash? Uh, I think it's an illusion. And I don't think there's going to be a war in Iran. I'm an optimist, but I'm not an ungrounded optimist. I'm aware of the world situation. And I think that all of this ditch effort is connected with ET announcing. Yes, we all feel that. There's, some, there's a big connection to that. And it's interesting to see what's going to happen once that comes out and how yeah. the public reacts. Because I think that the ET agenda is get your ducks in a row because if you don't make this announcement, we will. And that is why we've got all this
cataclysm going on. They want to have the power to present the human race in a package. Okay, here. Here is your potential slave force. Here is your potential workforce. Here is your potential financial resource package. And be nice. <laughs> and I think that there will be polar opposites in the ET presence as well. Because three-dimensional reality is polar. I think there will be light ETs and darker ones. But I just believe that light always prevails. Bring it on. I'm ready for this. Whatever it is, bring it on already. Yeah. And always remembering that no matter what is the drama, the theater of war, or the play that we're watching in, it's just a phase. We go from this density to another density. Or we go to another, on the reincarnational wheel, we leave this one, we go pop into another one. The difference is, I don't think planet Earth is sticking around in the 3D realm anymore. Do you think it's already ascending into fold? Yes. Look at how time is mutating. Even the most skeptical people are admitting that the day seems to have about six hours less than it had before. And, of course, the debate is, well, that's because we're all so busy. I don't think so. It's warping. Personally, I can, well, I've never been good with time, because I'm a no-time gal. But uh, I do notice that uh, I sit down to do something, and suddenly four hours have passed. And it just doesn't feel the same as it used to. So I think we are well along this process of mutating and trying to get a handle on what it means. Absolutely. I definitely feel like each year goes faster than the, than the last one. It does. We're at Christmas now? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Wasn't it just August? Yeah. I mean, really, I, I find it very hard to believe that three months have passed since August. And uh, a year has passed since last year. And, of course, this is important because I'd like to bring this up. Yeah. The big debate about Mayan calendar ending, therefore the world ending, and that people seem to miss the idea that the calendar represents time. And what the Mayans are saying is that time ends. And this is what the Syrian information is. Time as you know it ends because time is a condition of the third dimension. And